हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वीडियो नंबर फोर्टीन ऑफ द म्यूचुअल फंड्स सो टुडे आई बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डिपॉजिटरी पार्टिसिपेंट और इन शॉर्ट दैट वी नो एज द डी पी सो यूजली वेन यू आर गोइंग टू इन्वेस्ट यू विल नीड अ डी पी आई डी एंड अ क्लाइंट आई डी सो जस्ट लाइक अ बैंक कीप्स योर मनी सेफ a depository is a financial institute that keeps all your financial assets safe the depository can uh, store your bonds equities mutual funds and other units in a demat form dematerialized form as you say which is not a paper format you can say or a digital format so we all talk of a demat 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 means a dematerialized or a non paper or a paperless format in a digital way so that is there in india there are two depositories the cdsl and N, uh, nsdl uh, the central depository service limited and national security depository limited but then you cannot directly interact with the depository to open up your account and start the trading so you don't need a dp for mandatorily for uh, keeping your mutual funds you can do that without a dmat account as well but if you are going to go into trading part you need a dp id so you can't uh, open a account directly open an account directly with uh, cdsl or nsdl so similar in the way that uh, you cannot open your bank account with rbi you have to open up with their branches so similarly in the say trading or the stock exchange world you cannot open up an account with the sebi also the securities exchange board of india so that is where the role of depository participants or dp comes in so they don't only may, uh, make your uh, work easy and manage the exchange but also you get multiple options to go for so let's have a basic understanding of the depositories and dps so some of the commonest dps in india are share khan upstocks angel broking zerodha icici direct motilal oswal india info uh, info line iifl as we say uh, pro stocks carvi financial services religare and so many more so uh, dp is actually a mediator between the depositories nsdl csdl uh, cdsl and the investors so that is like an intermediary and uh, similar to the bank the traders can get a dmat account open with a dp along with other facilities that will help them get the dp id and the client id and that can make their investment and trading efficiently so in other words the dp is like a agent of one of the both of the depositories and the services are regulated by the exchange itself but you would ask the question why is the need of a dp or a depository uh, uh, depository participant uh, why is the need for that earlier the trading was done through paperwork you must have seen in the scam 1992 series the physical uh, share and the jobbers um, being into action and uh, the it had to take a lot of time to keep checking the number of papers the number of shares transferred into the account and the amounts transferred into the account so there was a risk of theft loss and damage because of fire because of anything uh, similar so now those risks have been uh, cut off uh, because the elimination because of the elimination of the need for the physical securities you don't need it in physical form anymore the dmat form ensure that it is in the paperless format so again the dps actually make sure that the paperless format calls for a uh, you will say faster processing than the paperwork because the paperwork is tedious and does take time so the compulsory use of dmat or electronic trading began in 1998 it's been 23 years and still uh, people are not much aware of it especially the newer investors who don't uh, who are skeptical to enter the market uh, so you need a dmat account or a dpid for uh, getting your trading house in order but you don't need as i said it is a dmat account can be one of the ways of investment into the mutual funds but not necessarily the only one mode there are so many modes that i specified in i think video number 8 or 9 so it also uh, when there are no chances of delay non scrupulous or unscrupulous transfer you can say and almost nil chances of forgery because it is all electronic so it also brought in the fii to indian market the foreign institutional investors who bring about the major moola or the major money in our indian market so managing uh, would have been difficult if would have, it would have continued in the paperwork way so the electronic or the dmat way has actually brought about a revolution revolution uh, and uh, when the transactions are managed electronically uh surely uh, there are so many people who can manage the investments and the stocks very very effectively
so who can be a depository participant as per the sebi norms uh, whosoever uh, uh, who can uh, who is registered with sebi can offer the dmat services can serve as a dp like the public financial institutions the state financial institution or corporations the banks the nbfcs the stock brokers the registrar and transfer agents rtas as we call so all of them are uh, uh, eligible to become a dp so dp is responsible actually for the final transfer of shares or stocks between the depository and the investors it can not only be shares it can be bonds equities mutual funds as well so it is an electronic record so the investor receives a confirmation with the message of the transaction with the exchange and the way the transaction happens so in the similar way the account will be with the cdsl and nsdl but the dp would act as an intermediary so you need you can list out any uh, the local st the cities where there is a local stock exchange you can open up a dp account with a local stock exchange as well other than the ones i mentioned zeroda share khan and all those guys the uh, people like master trust master capital master gain they also act as uh, dp ids uh, uh, depository participants wherein you can invest through them so whatever uh, the uh, transactions you make if you don't make any transaction in the year usually the standard dmat charges are 354 rupees 300 rupees plus tax 18% gst payable to the dp if you don't make any transactions so if you are doing trading or if you give uh, give them an uh, say any uh, commission in the year so obviously then uh, you will not be incurred those charges these charges are in those cases where you have uh, uh, the transactions not being done in the whole year so for example if stocks in your portfolio in your dp if you the value of stocks is there so then the dp won't uh, debit uh, that uh, amount of 354 this is a standard amount it can be more or less some offer it for free some offer it for free for first two years and then they charge some of uh, some charge at 999 plus gst so you have to clarify how much is free and nothing comes free of course you so have to verify what exactly would be free and for how much time and why are they doing it in this manner so make sure that your dp is transparent transparent also and gives you an accurate information so usually all of these are uh, say registered with sebi so if they commit harakiri the sebi is very quick to pounce upon them and uh, find them for that uh, reason so guys thank you so much for watching this video and i shall be back with video number 15 technically supposed to be the last of the day uh, in a short while from now thank you so much